Boy, if you're looking for a place to get away from it all without getting far from downtown Chicago, I've found your spot. You might think from the hot tub, the 30-foot swimming pool, and the waterfall behind me that I've traveled out into the suburbs, but I'm actually only at about 4,200 north on the lakefront. This pool complex and terrace create a wonderful hideaway. The house is actually more of a hideaway within a hideaway. It's on Hutchinson Street, which is a treasure. It's a street that a lot of people drive right past in Uptown. But if you stop and look at it, you find that it is lined with great old houses, very nice gardens, and that's true here as well. You've got this nice brick facade complemented by a really charming garden filled with wildflowers now in August. This is the front yard, not the back. Even so, it's not just ornamental, it's incorporated into the living space, as you'll see. This home is very porous. All the landscape and the renovations of the house were done at the same time so that it can all flow together indoors and outdoors. So you come from that pretty garden I was in out front into this very elegant living room. You're surrounded by openings all around, windows and doors. You've got crown moldings up above beautiful dark wood floors below, and this great limestone fireplace. A real feeling of elegance in this room, and you can then continue through back outside to the terrace where the waterfall is. And back in here at a family room at the back of the house. With all of these French doors open all around, the lines are blurred between indoors and out. We might be out by the waterfall or in the hot tub. We might be in this sheltered terrace here. Might be sitting in the family room here next to one of seven fireplaces in the home. Some of them indoors, some of them out. Wherever you are here, you have close at hand the kitchen. Very nice, crisp space set aside here where it relates to so many of the spaces. There's a real feeling of openness all around. And then the complement to that begins here where this very wide passageway contains a saltwater aquarium visible both in this room and in the dining room. And the dining room is the complement to the other spaces. It's more intimate. The wood is darker. It feels a little bit more surrounded. You have the elegance of the other rooms, but with a feeling of seclusion. When you come up to the second floor, you don't lose that connection between indoors and out. There are three terraces surrounding the second floor, sprouting from different rooms. And then there are, of course, big windows that look out not only on the tree-lined street and your own garden, but on a very big garden that is right next door. Inside the second floor and the third, there are four bedrooms in all, plus a library. And three of those bedrooms are all laid out as masters, so you have a decision to make. Let's see which one you would prefer. There's this one at the back of the house with a fireplace, the crown moldings. We'll see those in all the rooms. This one has access to two terraces, one in the sun and then one here that has a roof so you can either sit in the sun or be protected from the rain. And there's this one, a larger one, at the front of the house with a great view out into the trees of the neighborhood, again with the fireplace, really pretty bathroom and a terrace. And there's this one, the third, at the top of the house on the third floor. It's more secluded up here. It gets a whole lot of light from windows all around. It has more contemporary styling to the fireplace. Nice bath, as the other two have had. This one also has an office and sitting room adjacent to it. Once you've made your choice of master suites, come down to the basement where there are choices all around you. You start with this nice bar, real sleek styling in the paneling and well laid out. And then around the corner from us is a billiard room. You could always choose to make that something else if you don't play pool, make it a wine storage room or something like that. Next to us is a movie theater, 13 recliners, elegant styling there. And then behind me here is a big gym, fully loaded. And I'm realizing that if I had spent a little more time there earlier, then in our first shot, I might have dropped the shirt and tie. 